here's the long-awaited secret recipe for hot dog all the way sauce. Here we are again. So continuing with our picnic theme, um, I'm going to make one of my most sought after recipes, probably the most sought after recipe on the internet today. If you do a search for Texas wiener sauce, you'll see people all over this globe trying to get the best Texas wiener sauce. Now there's chili sauces, there's onion sauces, but the Texas chili sauce is what made Northern New Jersey famous for their hot dogs all the way. Today I'm going to show you my recipe and it's going to knock your socks off how easy it is and I never want to hear from my, look at my, look at my stern figures like Judge Judy. I never want to hear my friends from Texas, Tennessee, Arizona, California, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Alaska ever say, I miss my hot dog all the way sauce from Jersey. Well, now you're going to have it and you're going to have it and you can make it in under a half hour as much as you want and it will bring back the exact same memories you put in your mouth back when you were, oh, from 10 on up to 50 or 60 when you always devoured these sauces. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take about a cup, maybe a cup and a half of ground beef. I don't like the 70-30 uh, the because I love that on hamburgers. We're doing about 80-20. Um, causes less fat. And here's the trick to get rid of the fat. Let the meat cool down a little bit. Just take a paper towel. You don't have to use a colander. You don't have to do anything. Now, you don't want all the fat out, but you want most of it out. Bingo. Done. All right. Next ingredient, and it's going to freaking blow your mind because every supermarket in the Americas and even overseas has this ingredient. I'm sorry. This is not my homemade version, which would take you hours to do. This is just as good, and I can prove it. I'm going to have testimony on Saturday because we had a contest last year, and this was the winner. We're going to take hormone chili, no beans, and we're going to stick one can in there. And that, these are small now. They used to be 12, 13 ounces, or 10.5. We're going to put two cans in there. Remember, no beans. We don't know beans. No tootin'. No tootin' tootin'. Next ingredient. See, I'm doing my advertisements. Maybe they'll pay me for this. Maybe they'll send it to them and say, look, I'm advertising your product nationwide. I got Chi Cheese. This is medium, thick and chunky. This is the way to go. Don't use homemade. Don't use a cheap version. The reason being is when I did the research on the ingredients in the back and I did a ratio and I did a whole analysis of it, these are the same exact spices, the combination that are in my homemade version. Now, we got to put eight ounces in because it's three to one. Wait, am I doing that right? So we got 21, so I want to do seven ounces of this. So 21 ounces of beans, seven ounces of chili. Well, I don't have a measuring cup, Mr. V. No problem. I got two spoons now. So if it's 24 ounces, it's a little less than a third of the chili going down. So we take that spoon as one. That's two. That's three. We're almost there. That's four. And there it is. There's your seven ounces. Now, when I publish this, I'm going to have my cheat sheet. I'm going to take a picture of my cheat sheet of how I did this. Okay, because I came up with the recipe on the fly last year. Now, we got that in there. We got to put some spices in. So we got ground cumin. And how much did I put in last year? Oh, I put about a quarter, one teaspoon of ground cumin. Now, I know I can measure this teaspoon. So a teaspoon of ground cumin. Now, by the way, this is going to make a lot of hot dogs or hamburgers or anything, a chicken, you can put it on your chicken. And we're going to do cinnamon. Now, we're only going to bet a quarter teaspoon, a really small amount of cinnamon, but you have to have it. There we go. Then also, a, uh, what's cinnamon? And a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Nope, I put the cinnamon in already. Sorry about that nose, but nothing came out. Uh, nutmeg. Got to put a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Okay. Next step is the most important step. You got to stir it. Okay, you got to stir it. And now I know I've heard people say it doesn't taste like Johnny and Norm's or Hop Grill or Johnny and Hange's or 
golf will grill. I say BS to that. You could take all those all those recipes they have in that restaurant, and I'll line them all up. And I promise you, unless you are the actual owner or the cook on your sauce, you line them all. Seven, you will never be able to distinguish this sauce from any of those sauces. That's how confident I am. I've been making this sauce now for well over 20 years. And that's it, folks. You can take this sauce now. You can put it in the refrigerator just the way it is and heat it up when you want to. It will automatically marinate because the meat is a little hot. But I'm going to cook it now for about 30 minutes. I'm going to test out the consistency of it. It should be a little runny. It should not be really thick because once you put it in the refrigerator after that, it's going to thicken up. And then when you reheat it, and again, you can reheat this. You can, you can, right now, if you made it with me, you could put that in the freezer as is. In pieces, you could put it in uh, ice cube trays. You just want to take one ice cube tray out, and that's your sauce. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Now, the mild gives it a kind of a spice. If you don't like the spice, and I know people have sensitive palates, just use the mild then. Don't use the medium. But um, I think it has to have a little bit of spice to make it original and authentic. Okay, you have my permission to use this recipe to open up a hot dog stand, open up a hot dog cart. And I'll, I promise you, you just put Jersey Hots or Texas all the way from Jersey, the line will be around the block if you got at least 2,000 people per square mile. All right. Another liberty that didn't take over. Okay, folks, that's the other dish for the picnic. On and onwards for more recipes. Stay tuned.